Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week, I'm going to give you another 10 easy songs without chords. So if you're brand new to the guitar, you haven't quite got your fingers around playing chords yet, then this is the video for you. So I'll take you through a few intros played by your favorite bands, and I'll put the tabs up on screen to help you as well. Now, if you find you get through these really quickly, you can check out some of the links below, and I've done four other very similar videos with different songs. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. So first of all, let me play through all the riffs we're going to do today. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And finally, number 10. So there's a few things I need to explain before we start. I'm playing these mostly with a pick, okay? Now, if you don't have one, no big deal. You can just use the side of your thumb. Now, the other thing you'll hear me saying is the sixth string and the fifth string. We always count the strings from the thinnest to the thickest. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? The thickest being the lowest tone. That's what we call a low E. Now, to remember the string names, it's always a good idea to memorize them and it make your learning a quicker experience, okay? I always teach my students a little sentence and it goes, Eddie ate dynamite good by Eddie. Or the other way around would be, Every bad girl deserves an egg. However you want to remember them, it's a good idea to try and memorize them, okay? Here we go, number one. I'm not using this hand at all, and I'm not using a guitar pick either. So I'm going to play six, three, two, one, two, three, six, three, two, one, two, three. Now I'm using my thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, second finger, first finger. Obviously, you could do it all. You could do it like that as well. Or if you're comfortable with a pick, you could use a pick. There you go. That's the first one. So number two, I'm back on the guitar pick here. So we're going to go O. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to count two beats. So I'm going to go one, two in my head. All right. So O, three, five, then three, five, three. Now you see I've put these lines on the tabs. That's not timing, that's just to help you read them, okay? So let's do that again slowly. So it's O, oh, one, two, three, five, three, five, three. So I'm doing this all with one finger. If you want to get quicker, it's always a good idea to use different fingers. So you could use the first finger and the third, hovering over the third and fifth fret. So then that would be O, oh, one, two, three, five, three, five, 
my three. Now you don't have to play it that quick, okay? If I do it super slow for you. Oh, one, two, three, five. Three, five, three. Oh, one, two, three, five. Three, five, three. Now all of these riffs or all of these intros can be turned into power chords as well. So if you're a little bit more advanced, it's really easy to turn them into power chords. So the first O is actually an E power chord. So I'm just putting my finger here. And then the next one is three. So three, what, what I do then, I skip a fret and skip a, uh, go to the next string and put my third finger or my pinky, if I can't stretch, and I play the bottom two strings. So I'm playing the third and the fifth on the sixth string and the fifth string. And I'm just hitting the two strings that I want to play. And I keep that shape. You see they're still opposite, and that'll be five and seven. So what I've done, I've just taken the first note of the power chord to show you the riff. If I play the power chord version, it'll sound like this. So it's always a good idea when you get more comfortable to try and learn these power chords, okay? But I've just made them simple for now. So number three, So let me slow that right down for you. It's 2-2. Two, two. Then what I'm doing, I'm playing 2 again, and I'm going to slide it to 5. And you see there's a little B. That means bend. So bend, you just pull down on the string. Make sure you're pushing the string in and down, and then there's an open. So if I do that really slow for you, Just using my first finger for that one, okay? All downstrokes this end. Nothing flash going on there. Number four. Now, this one can be played a few different ways. We're going to start on the A string this time, on the fifth string. So it goes 8-8, eight, 6-6-6, eight, six, six, six. go up to 11, play that twice. 13, 15, so I appreciate some of you guys might not have a cutaway in your guitar, it might end at the 12th fret, that's okay, I'll show you what to do, alright, so, that's how the first one goes, right, but what we can do, 8, 8, 6, 6, 6, then we just go to the 6th fret, on the next string, which is the D string, or the fourth string, we hit that twice, six, six, eight, ten, 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 ten. So I'll play the original version, then I'll play the version lower down. Here we go. And then if you don't have a long, long enough neck, here we go. Now originally this would have been played in power chords as well. So watch, the first finger is always going to be the same. I'm just going to follow it along with this third finger. So it's this power chord shape. Okay. So if, you, if you're feeling more advanced and you want to have a go at that, by all means, try it. Number five. This is nice and easy. Open E. Tenth fret on the A string. Nine. Eight. Seven. 
and then open again, and then five on the A string, four, three, two. So the opens are just on the bottom E, the sixth string, okay? Oh, ten, nine, eight, seven, oh, five, four, three, two. You could use different fingers. Number six, this is a bit of a quick one. So notice how you can do this with just one finger again, okay? So I'm going on the bottom E string, the sixth string, O, oh, two, two, and then O, oh, two, O, oh, two. Then we go to the next string and play O, oh, two. So that last O2, I'm playing on the A string, the fifth string. Let's go back to the beginning. O2, two, 2, next bit. O2, two, O2, two. next bit, go to the A string. O2. Now the trick is to try and connect them. O2, two, 2, O2, two, O2, two, O2, next string. O2. So to go really quick, you see me changing something, you'll see me playing a down up with this hand. Again, that's more advanced. If you're feeling like you want to try it, by all means, it's only going to make you better, okay? O, two, two, O, two, O, two. So that O, two, O, two, down up, down up. Try it and see how you get on. Start very slow and then slowly, gradually speed it up, okay? Number seven. So this is just the very, very introduction of this song and there's actually an effects pedal used. So instead of the effects pedal, we're, we're kind of going up to this 12th fret and sliding down because it's pretty fun to play. Okay. So, this, again, I'm using this down up, so we're getting more advanced as we're going along, okay, guys? But to play it slowly, just using down strokes. Oh, 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 three. Then put a bend. Oh, 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 oh. I go right to the 12th fret. I pluck it, make sure it's ringing out, and just slide down. Okay, now you don't want to hurt your finger doing this. If you're new to guitar, your fingers might not be strong enough yet, but they will improve, okay? And you'll get, you'll get tougher fingers and they won't hurt, okay? So here we go. Now to get that bend, I'm just pushing in and then pulling down, okay? You don't want to, you don't want to go crazy, it's just a little curl. Okay, if I play it up to speed. So you've realized by now to get super quick, you need to practice this down, up, down, up. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry, just do it in down strokes. Down, 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 down. Go even slower. So you see what I'm doing there? Down, up, down, up, on, off. So number eight, here we go. Again, you can do this with one finger, you can turn this into a power chord if you like, same rule applies, all right? Starting on the A string at the fifth fret, okay? Five, five, 
then go down to three, 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 three. Stay on that same string and let it guide you up to eight. Use the dots to help you, okay? Eight, eight, eight. Then what you want to do is go down to six on the same string and then just hop over back onto the thick string, the bottom E. One, two, three, four. Six, 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 six. Okay, so all together. Five, five, three, three, three. Eight, eight, eight. Six, 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 six. A bit faster. Five, five, three, three, three. Eight, 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 six, 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 six. Five, five, three, three, three. Eight, 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 six, 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 six. So I'm doing that with one finger. You can turn it into power chords again by trailing the finger with this third finger on the next string, on the neighboring string. Now when you play the power chords, make sure you only play the two strings you've got your fingers on. So that's what you're aiming for later on to get good at these power chords. Like I said, you can put the pinky on as well if you wanted to. But for now, if that's too much, just use your first finger. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how everyone learns, okay? One finger at a time. Number nine. Okay, so you can use multiple fingers here or you can just use one finger however you're comfortable. Let's do it together so it starts off nice and slow. O, 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 three, five, five, seven, seven, three. And then it goes around again, okay? It keeps on looping around. O, 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 three, five, five. Seven, seven, three, oh, 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 three, five, five, seven, seven, three. Or you could use different fingers. Again, you could use power chords. So it's the same principle again with the power chords. Wherever you've got a note, you tail it on the next string with a fret in between, okay? Only play the strings you've got your fingers on, okay? So number 10, and congratulations if you've got this far, well done. This next riff is on the middle two strings, okay? So it's gonna be on the G and the D, and it goes like this. So it's a little bit more advanced. We're gonna play two strings at the same time. So what I'm doing, I'm just playing O-O. And just be care very careful just to hit those two middle strings. You might find that tricky at first, but you know, as long as you're not using big downstrokes here, keep the small movements on your hand, it becomes really easy, okay? And remember, I'm always doing this from the wrist, not from the elbow, okay? And you'll find it really difficult if you try and play all this from the elbow. All right. So we're just going to go O, O. And then five. And you see what I'm doing? I'm actually covering the two middle strings at the fifth fret with one finger. O, O, five. Now, if you can't do that, most people can when I teach them, even super beginners. But if you can't do that, you can actually use two fingers together. Okay, O, O, five. And then it goes O again, three, and O. So super slow. O, O, five, O, three, O. 
again if you can use one finger to cover those two strings it's going to be much quicker o o five o three o then you start hearing com it coming together right and you see I'm using different fingers, so you can use your third finger at the fifth fret, your first finger at the third fret, or you can do it one finger, it just means you've got to be quicker. And all I'm doing there, I'm going up to the twelfth fret, and you see that little uh, forward uh, backslash, okay? Backslash usually, usually means slide down, okay? So a forward slash would be slide up, just like in the, the third one, the third riff we did, and, you know, uh, the, the, the opposite slash is gonna be slide down, okay? And that's just a bit of flair if you get really confident. Again, if you can't cover the two strings with one finger, use two fingers, okay? So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, check out my other videos, share it with your friends, let me know how you get on and I'll see you again the same time next week.